Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. The Portier and School District is working hard to cast a new vision for the district. So this week on Dateline Schools, we're going to get an update on this whole process as we talk to Visionary Committee member David Haynes, as well as Portier and Superintendent Ron Willene. And Ron, before we get into what the Vision Committee came up with, why did you create this committee to, to get this process started? Well, it all started uh, at a board meeting in May. And what we wanted to do is put a comprehensive plan in place to, you know, what do we want this district to look like? three to five to eight years. And that started uh, that strategic planning where we need a visionary team to be put together. So what we did um, in July, I had uh, a nice selection of a community members, 12 individuals, that they were set up for the selection of the visionary team. And what they did, uh, they their charge was to put a process together to select 25 members from the community, and they did that. And uh, they worked uh, July and August, and, and then all the applications uh, uh, in terms of uh, that were um, people interested in being on the visionary team, uh, they went through them all. And they came up with 25 forward-thinking individuals uh, that represented our community, and I was very pleased with that. Dave, you're one of the members that was chosen to, to serve on this committee. What, what areas of our community were represented, and, and how did that whole process work for you guys? Well, we had um, representatives of 21 different occupations coming from different perspectives throughout the community, everyone from attorneys to financial advisors to a professional cook to uh, school administrators, uh, college professors, really a gamut of, uh, of those throughout the community from, uh, again, different views. My guess is uh, you obviously had the challenge of trying to work and come up with a vision for the district and, and recommendations. But that would be a pretty good challenge just to get this whole group to gel together. Well, we were very fortunate. Uh, the school system provided a fantastic uh, facilitator, uh, Mike Zinn. Uh, he did a great job of kind of laying the groundwork uh, in, in, in the framing of uh, each of the meetings. So it really allowed us to be productive and really to uh, feel pretty open about what we could say and uh, really putting out our ideas that uh, otherwise uh, probably wouldn't have come out. Hey, Ryan, if you can, uh, in a nutshell, what was the charge you gave this committee once it was formed? Well, uh, when I first met with them, uh, I talked in terms of the, the traditional way of education uh, is gone. Because we're looking at flipped classes, um, blended classes, uh, year-round school, magnet schools, uh, STEM schools. And you know, what we have to do to be in a position uh, and what we want our district to look like three to five years opportunities for students to be successful so that was you know focused uh, you know you don't change just to change but what you look at is uh, student achievement and opportunities for students so that's what really started to move us forward we'll be back with more tomorrow for dayline schools i'm terry harrington